Welcome to Space Mysteries, your trusted source for breaking headlines, global insights, and sharp analysis from around the world. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Picture this, it's the year 2015. The sun rises over the vast, arid expanse of the Chihuahuan Desert, painting the landscape in golden hues. The air is dry, the ground cracked, and the silence is broken only by the distant call of a bird. At the edge of this harsh, sun-baked wilderness, a group of scientists and conservationists gather. Dressed in field gear, they scan the horizon, their faces a mix of anticipation and determination. They know they're about to witness something extraordinary. Suddenly, a massive truck rumbles down a dusty road, kicking up clouds of sand as it approaches. The vehicle is loaded with precious cargo, something not seen here for generations. The ramp lowers with a metallic clang, and out thunders a herd of American bison, majestic icons of the Great Plains, being released into the heart of the desert. Their hooves pound the earth, sending up plumes of dust as they charge into their new home. It sounds wild, almost unbelievable. Bison in the desert, not the endless prairie. Yet here they are, standing on arid ground, surrounded by sparse grasses and distant mountains. The American bison once roamed a vast range stretching from the grasslands of Canada all the way to northern Mexico. But by the late 1800s, relentless hunting and habitat loss had nearly wiped them out, leaving only a few scattered survivors. Decades of dedicated recovery efforts brought bison back from the brink, but mostly to the prairies and open plains. The deserts, once part of their ancient range, remained empty, until now. This project was different. A bold, ambitious experiment to see if bison could once again thrive in their ancestral desert grasslands. Could they adapt to this challenging environment and reclaim their lost territory? The Janos Biosphere Reserve, once a vibrant ecosystem, had suffered decades of overgrazing by cattle. The soil was compacted, native grasses struggled to survive, and the land was in desperate need of restoration. Could bison, the original architects of these grasslands, help heal the land? Their grazing patterns once shaped these ecosystems, promoting plant diversity and healthy soils. On that dusty day, the gates swung open. The bison surged forward, stepping into a world that hadn't felt their presence in over a century. Each hoof print marked a new beginning, a return to a landscape that had long forgotten their thunder. For those watching, it was a moment of hope, excitement, and anxiety. Would the bison survive? Would they transform the land or would the desert prove too harsh? They were reintroducing a keystone species, an animal whose presence could reshape the entire ecosystem, bringing balance and life back to the desert grasslands. This was the start of a grand ecological experiment, one that would test the resilience of both the bison and the land itself. Would the bison adapt to the relentless heat, find enough food and water, and thrive in this challenging environment? or would the desert prove too unforgiving for their return? As the sun set over the desert, casting long shadows across the land, one thing was certain. This bold idea had set something in motion. Only time would tell if it would succeed, or if the desert would remain silent, waiting for another chance. Why bison, and why here? What makes these animals so important to this landscape, and why is their return such a pivotal moment for this region? The answer lies in both ecology and history, woven together across centuries of change and loss. Bison are a keystone species. Their grazing, movement, and wallowing create conditions for hundreds of other species to thrive. Their presence shapes the land, supporting a web of life that depends on their unique behaviors. The Janos Reserve, part of the vast Chihuahuan Desert, was once within the bison's native range. For thousands of years, bison roamed these grasslands, shaping the ecosystem with every step. But for over a century, cattle ranching had damaged the land, cattle overgrazed and compacted the soil, leading to erosion, the spread of invasive plants, and the loss of native wildlife that once flourished here. Scientists believed bison could reverse this damage, restoring balance to the ecosystem and bringing back lost biodiversity. Unlike cattle, bison roam constantly, grazing in patches and breaking up soil with their hooves, which helps water soak in and seeds sprout, this natural disturbance is essential for healthy grasslands. The plan was simple in theory, bring back the original architects of the prairie and let them rebuild their home, one hoofprint at a time. This ambitious project was a true collaboration, governments, conservationists, and local communities all working together, united by a shared vision for restoration. 
years of careful planning went into selecting healthy genetically pure bison, ensuring the herd would be resilient and able to thrive in their new old home. Building trust with local ranchers was crucial, as their support and cooperation would help ensure the project's long-term success. The hope was that restoring grasslands would benefit not just wildlife but also the local economy, creating new opportunities for ecotourism, sustainable grazing and community pride. It was a holistic approach, heal the land, bring back a lost species and support the people who live here, weaving together ecology, culture and livelihoods. The stakes were high, but the potential rewards, restored ecosystems, thriving communities and a living symbol of the wild were even greater. Could bison really turn things around? The experiment was underway, and hope was returning to the grasslands. When the bison arrived, expectations were mixed. Scientific optimism met local skepticism. Scientists hoped bison would spark a return of native grasses and healthier soil. They envisioned a richer, more diverse ecosystem. But ranchers worried, would bison compete with cattle for water and forage? Would they break fences? The desert is harsh, could bison from cooler climates survive the heat and scarce water? Even scientists had questions, how fast would changes happen? Would bison disrupt other species? Monitoring programs tracked bison movements, vegetation and wildlife. It was hope versus uncertainty. The bison were on their own now. The future of the Janos grasslands rested on their broad shoulders. In the first year, changes were subtle. The bison explored over 40,000 acres, moving constantly, unlike cattle. Scientists noticed selective grazing bison trimmed native grasses, stimulating regrowth. By year three, the ground changed. Bison hooves broke up hard soil, creating microhabitats. Rainwater collected in hoof prints, helping seeds sprout and native grasses return. Bison wallows, large dusty depressions, became temporary pools after rain, attracting insects, amphibians, and birds. A single bison behavior created new habitats. The herd adapted to the desert, finding shade and hidden springs and their numbers grew. Calves born in Janos were desert adapted from birth. Fears about their survival faded. The bison were no longer visitors. They were residents, reshaping the land. Each season their influence grew. The slow revolution had begun. Nature was responding. The experiment was working. Fast forward 10 years, 2025, the Janos Reserve is transformed. Lush native grasslands ripple in the wind, holding soil in place and preventing dust storms. The bison herd has grown to over a thousand, roaming freely as their ancestors did. Their presence has revived the entire food web. Prairie dog colonies thrive, supporting burrowing owls and cottontails. Predators like golden eagles and mountain lions have returned. Bison hooves have improved water infiltration, streams and springs flow longer, and wallows provide water for wildlife. In a desert, water is life, and the bison have made the ecosystem more resilient to drought. The speed of recovery is stunning, just 10 years for a dramatic turnaround. Nature's resilience unleashed by a single keystone species is on full display. The desert is no longer just surviving, it's thriving. The experiment is a resounding success. The Janos Bison story is a textbook example of a trophic cascade, when a change at the very top of the food chain ripples through the entire ecosystem, transforming everything in its path. The return of bison to these grasslands set off a chain reaction that no one could have fully predicted. As bison grazed, they fostered healthier, more diverse plant communities. Their selective eating patterns allowed a wider variety of grasses and wildflowers to thrive, which in turn benefited countless insects, birds, and small mammals that depend on this rich tapestry of plants for food and shelter. Grassland birds like Sprague's Pippet and Baird's Sparrow, once rare in these parts, returned and began nesting in the tall waving grasses. Their songs filled the air, signaling a healthier ecosystem. Small mammals flourished in the renewed habitat, providing abundant food for predators like coyotes, bobcats, and hawks. The entire food web became more robust and dynamic. Even bison dung played a crucial role, fertilizing the soil and supporting armies of dung beetles, which in turn fed birds and small mammals. This recycling of nutrients helped keep the land fertile and productive. Nothing was wasted. Every action from grazing to fertilizing had a positive impact, weaving new connections throughout the ecosystem. Surprisingly, pronghorn antelope benefited too, finding new opportunities in the changing landscape. As bison grazed down the tough, coarse grasses, 
they stimulated the growth of tender shoots and forbs, exactly the kinds of plants pronghorn loved to eat. This created a buffet for pronghorn, making their survival easier. Instead of competing for resources, bison and pronghorn became unlikely partners in the restoration of the grassland, each helping the other thrive. As a result, the pronghorn population grew healthier and more resilient, with more fawns surviving each year. The ecosystem became more complex and interconnected, with every species playing a vital role in the web of life. The bison weren't just survivors, they were true ecosystem engineers, shaping the land and creating habitats for countless other creatures. Their return made the grassland better for everyone, from the tiniest insect to the largest predator. The ripple effects were profound, showing how one animal can truly change everything for an entire landscape. For the scientists and conservationists, seeing Janos reborn is deeply moving. The gamble paid off. Nature's healing power exceeded all expectations. Local ranchers, once skeptical, now see healthier, more productive land. Drought resilience has improved, and ecotourism brings new income. The bison are now a symbol of pride and sustainability. Imagine standing at sunrise watching the herd move through tall grass, birds singing, prairie dogs chirping. This isn't a scene from the past, it's happening now. The restoration is a living testament to hope and renewal. The experience connects people to the wild heart of North America. It's a story of hope in a world often filled with environmental loss. The damage wasn't permanent, nature can heal. The return of the bison is a miracle of renewal. The Janos bison experiment taught us the power of keystone species. Restoring ecological engineers like bison can revive entire ecosystems, not just single species. This approach can be applied worldwide. Wolves in forests, otters in kelp beds. Patience is crucial. Nature works on its own timescale. Collaboration made this possible. Scientists, governments, conservationists, and local communities working together. Trust and partnership overcame challenges. The biggest lesson? Sometimes the best solution is to restore what's missing and let nature do the work. Human management alone couldn't heal Janos. Bison could. It's a lesson in ecological humility. Identify what's missing, restore it, and step back. Nature's genius will do the rest. The Janos bison story is more than a feel-good tale. It's a blueprint for conservation's future. As climate change and desertification spread, we need solutions that work with nature. Janos proves large-scale restoration is possible, even in harsh environments. The bison's impact on water retention and drought resilience is a game-changer for dry lands worldwide. Rewilding, restoring natural processes offers a cost-effective, powerful strategy. This story redefines our relationship with wildlife, not as problems but as partners and ecosystem engineers. Making space for wildlife benefits us all. The bison's return shows that even broken landscapes can heal. In a world of environmental challenges, this is a story of hope and resilience. The thundering hooves in the desert are the sound of a wilder, healthier future for us all.